Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to the Grounded Update where today we are going to be going through and showing you guys one of the answers to the questions you guys have been asking me the most lately and that is Sim, how do you get the Mint Mace now in the new update? Because everything with the Mint Mace has changed, not only how you make it, how you get it, and also the damage that it does. So I'm gonna be covering all that in the video today, but the first thing we're gonna start off with is asking you guys to hit that like button, don't forget to comment down below, and subscribe today. But let's hop in and let's talk about the wonderful Mint Mace that is in Grounded that we all know and love. As we know, the Mint Mace has been the most powerful weapon that has been in Grounded for a very long time, until the Club of the Mother Demon was released. At the moment, before that time, there was not a Mint Mace, that, or there was not a weapon in the game that was stronger than the Mint Mace when it came to damage in one hit. Okay, yes, we had other weapons that could do more hitting in a less amount of time, like the Spider Fang Dagger and all of that, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. So, first off, let's talk about the ingredients you're going to need in order to get the Mint Mace now. So, the Mint Mace now is not made with mint pieces, it's made with mint globs, okay? So, it's five mint globs, nine silk rope, and eight petals. These two did not change, but this one did, okay? Then, what else changed about it if, well, we're in the workbench, I suppose we could look at that. The damage stayed, well... Kind of low, actually. If we look, all of the damages and all of that have been updated to reflect the new um, the new tier of weapons and everything like that. So really, the Mint Mace's damage is not all the way up. Granted, the Salt Morning Star is still pretty close to the Mint Mace, but it's no longer all the way up like it was before. Same with the Club of the Mother Demon, because we have higher tier enemies and gear coming to the game. But it's still pretty high. But the one thing I want to point out to you guys is this little node that's right here. What that means is that this Mint, this mint mace will automatically come with the fresh perk which means it's going to be minty which means you cannot put any other perks on it so when upgrading with say an anvil which by the way the anvil is an awesome tool and everybody should have one when upgrading with the anvil you will only be able to go down the quartzite path which means you will go 2 4 8 16 32 quartzite and then you'll go into quartzite globs okay and it's 5 and then 10 to get this guy all the way up to what should be 65 80 damage 80 percent more damage on this that's what it should be okay there's a little bit of a glitch right now that's making it so it only goes to 70 but it should go all the way to 80 percent damage increase so that is the first step of everything that you're going to be doing with this mint mace and that is the upgrading stats now let's get to the part on how to unlock this guy shall we and for that we need to go over to the sandbox Okay guys, so once in the sandbox, if you guys want to get the recipe for the mint mace, it gets a little tricky nowadays because this is where the recipe for the mint mace is. It's inside of this door. But in order to get in this door, you need the manager's key, the assistant manager key card. If you guys need the assistant manager key card, go fight the assistant manager. There is a video on that up on the channel already for you. So guys, go check that one out. It should be able to help you guys out a little bit. So once you have the assistant manager key card, you walk over and you open up this door and you'll walk right over here and on the table right here, I already picked it up, but on this table right here, there is a mysterious burgle chip. This burgle chip is the only way to unlock the recipe for the mint mace. You need to go and get this burgle chip, okay guys? So grab this burgle chip and go back over to burgle. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Burgle's Swap Shop, and what you're looking for, which I just bought in trying to make this video, um, is the Mint Mace recipe. It's 2,500 raw signs. The other things you're going to need is the smithing set for spicy and mint spice globs. You're going to want that. Okay, you get that from the Black Ant Hill, so you need those recipe sets in order to get that, that Burgle chip that's in there, and also, you're going to need the Haze Burgle chip because you're going to need a barrel to make an oven. So, lots of recipes all in all. It's about 7,500 raw science in order to get all the parts you're going to need in order to make yourself a mint mace. So, a little bit of a pain, but that's okay. So, what you'll do then is you'll go and get some mints. And I'm here to show you guys a couple mint locations as well. Alright guys, so let's start with the obvious one, the mint container. So, the ice mats mint container, if you guys want to open it now, you actually have to hit this little lip right here, and you see how it doesn't open? That's because you have to cut down these grass blades here now, in order to make it so you can actually get inside of the ice map mints container. Then you just go ahead and hit it a couple more times, and it will fling open for you, and then you can get in here and harvest them. Let's go talk about a couple other ones though, because there are some more. 
So this is a big one that a lot of people don't really know about. This one over here is there's actually a second ice mints container in the game that you can go and get mints from. It's right back here in the trash can. If I'm over in the trash heap right now, right here on the map, if you run back here, there is a couple mints inside of here for you to be able to get. And obviously we all know about the extra mints that are over in the red ant hill. Okay, all the way at the bottom, that uh, mint will sp respawn every six in-game days for you to be able to get many many more mints for your character And the last place that you guys can get mints besides for the sandbox by the way because obviously buried treasure But I've already covered buried treasure in another video But the other place that you can get them is in the haze So the haze there is a mint in there that you can dig up as well But let's face it guys the best place to get mints after you get both of that mint containers is inside of our wonderful sandbox digging up buried treasure there there's going to be tons of mints over there for you, and those will also respawn as well because buried treasure respawns, and it's pretty awesome. But guys, I'll leave that for all of you guys to go out and explore and find for yourself. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. Let me know you guys want to see more. Also, please don't forget to hit the comment section down below to see if anybody else has made a cool comment and have an awesome conversation with them, or leave a cool new comment down below if you guys found this helpful. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.